Welcome back to our video series on ventilation and infection control. Protective equipment or PE rooms serve immunocompromised patients, such as patients receiving care for bone marrow transplant or burns. These rooms must stay very clean to reduce the risk of the patient getting an infection. PE rooms have an anteroom that separates the patient room from the corridor. This space serves a particular and important role in preventing infections. The purpose of an anteroom for a PE room is to control the airflow so the air from the rest of the hospital doesn't flow into the PE room, keeping the air in the PE room as free of germs as possible. This room may also be used for staff to put on or take off personal protective equipment or PPE, such as respirators, gowns, and gloves. Sometimes a PE room will also have a dedicated hand washing sink for staff to wash their hands with soap and water before entering the patient room. Many hospitals are limited on storage space and staff sometimes use anterooms for more than they were intended, like for additional storage. While this may seem harmless, it can actually cause safety problems. Storage rooms have specific construction requirements to help contain a fire if it occurs and to prevent the spread of smoke. Anterooms and patient rooms are constructed with less strict requirements than storage rooms because they contain fewer materials that can burn easily. In addition to the increased fire risk, too much storage in the anteroom can also make it difficult to evacuate the patient from the room in the event of an emergency. Although it can be inconvenient, anterooms should never be used as additional storage space, and only the PPE required for a few shifts should be kept in the room. If you see an anteroom being used as storage, talk to your supervisor about why this is a safety problem and work to move the items to an appropriate storage room.